Hello everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll talk about how to make your computer tower quieter with these nine tips. I'm sure you know as well as I do how annoying a desktop tower can sound when it's running at full capacity. Sometimes it's not that it's loud, but it's because of the high pitch winding noise that comes out of the computer. There are ways to soundproof your desktop computer, and you can also go the DIY route and make a complete silent PC build. It might not be entirely soundproof, but you sure can do things to make your desktop computer much quieter. So let's begin with these nine top tips to get that silent gaming experience or at least have a quiet computer in your home office. Just a quick pause, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. And also, this is the first video that I make without using any background music. So let me know in the comment section below if you like this better or if you like it better with the music in my other videos. I will also have links in the description below of the products that I recommend in this video. Number one, keep your computer clean. The first and one of the essential noise reduction aspect is cleanliness. A clean computer is usually a quiet one. I'm obviously talking about the literal aspect of cleanliness and not file dumping. Open up your PC tower a couple of times a year and vacuum the inside. It only takes a few minutes to do and you would be surprised at how much dust can accumulate inside a computer. The amount of cable clutter within a computer tower doesn't have much of an influence on the temperature, but it does have an influence when it comes to noise. The fewer cables you freely have inside your computer casing, the less turbulence you will have and the quieter your computer will become. If you do have a lot of cables inside your computer casing, use plastic zip ties to wrap them together so they're not cluttering the inside of your computer. Number 2. Quiet Fans most of the noise can come directly from your cooling system. It's not the fact that you may have too many fans, but you might not have the right type of fan to make your computer silent. You can buy quiet PC fans for a lot less money than you might expect. The best quiet computer fan we tested is the Be Quiet Silent Fan 3 cooling fan. These cheap PC fans are usually around $25. You can certainly buy a more expensive quiet fan, but the Be Quiet Silent Wing 3 is all you need. At low speeds, the Be Quiet Silent 3 is nearly silent. When at high speed, they're making a tiny bit of noise, but far from your typical computer cooling fans. Doing 1600 RPM on a 140mm fan is obviously going to make some noise. I can only compare this cooling fan to the Noxua fan on my CPU cooler, and those seem to be louder at max, and they spin 100 RPM slower. What this fan does very well is avoiding making mechanical and electrical noise, even at moderate speeds. It's mostly just the winding noise of air until you get closer to max speed. My other fans produce a mild hum when running at moderate speeds. The air winding noise does seem a bit lower pitch as well, and that's exactly what I look for in a cooling fan. Another thing to point out is that the frame has a rubber coating for maximum sound absorption. Number three proper cooling fan placement. Cooling is a struggle between temperature and noise. If you can manage to keep your PC cool, then you should have less noise in return. People often make the mistake of running as many fans as they can cram into their system. The key here is to find the right balance between the number of fans and the speeds they have to run to keep your computer tower from overheating. To achieve this, you could either spend big money on expensive fans or be clever with the gear that you have. The air that your cooling fans are producing must have a clear path to leave the interior of your computer. Try to set up your fan so that the air moves in a straight line. Bottom to top, front to back, or even inverted versions can also work. As long as you don't have opposing fans or obstructions to the flow. The smoother the air flows, the less hard your cooling fans will need to work and the quieter your computer system will be. Number four, setting up automated fan controls. Most motherboards, graphic cards, and even the computer casing itself has fan controls. You might not know this, but you can make changes to your fan controls so they work more efficiently. Go into your BIOS or GPU software and create a custom profile. Some PC components can raise the level of heat within the computer. Make a profile that uses minimal fan speeds while your computer is idling. I have to admit, I have no clue whatsoever how to configure 
the way your fan operates, but our friends at how to geek can certainly show you how. Follow the link in the description below on how to control your PC fans for cool and quiet operations. Number 5. Remove non-essential moving parts. Other than fans, your PC can have many moving parts like hard drives and optical drive. Make sure these two particular pieces of hardware are not spinning when you're not using them. It's not a bad idea to auto set your hard drive into sleep mode when it's not in use for a predetermined amount of time. Go to your control panel and select the energy setting option and you should be able to find what you're looking for in there. You can avoid those annoying optical CD DVD drive spin ups by ejecting the disc. Removing the optical drive altogether is also not a bad idea either because speaking for myself I hardly ever have the optical drive in use. Buying an external optical drive could solve that problem by only connecting it when you need to use it. Number 6. Where you keep your computer can also have an impact. Where you keep your computer can have an impact on perceived noise. Make sure the intakes and exhaust are completely unobstructed. Also, if it's possible, move the computer system as far away as you can from your desk chair, unless you want to show off your computer, of course. Number 7. A sound deadening computer case. The thicker and stronger your computer casing is, the quieter it will be. Avoid rattling plastic panels or cases with an ultra-thin metal panel. I did find some computer cases made of very thick steel that are quieter than cases with pre-installed sound deadening features. It all depends how much you're willing to spend on a computer case. I have a PC case with thick sound deadening material inside it and I do find that there is a difference between the computer I have now and the one I had in my previous casing regarding soundproofing. The Corsair Carbide Series 100R Silent Edition from Amazon is the computer case I would recommend if you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars for a computer casing. Corsair Silent Edition is the best value for what you're getting regarding a pre-made sound deadening computer case. It comes with sound dampening side panels and a 3 speed fan controller. The fan can power up on overdrive only when the performance requires it. The computer case also comes equipped with two silent fans. My only problem with this case is the power light is brighter than a freaking lighthouse. If you keep your computer in a bedroom, then you can simply turn that light off permanently by disconnecting the LED wire. If you don't want to go as far as buying a brand new case, you can always go the DIY route. Install some sound deadening material inside of your PC panel. That will certainly help silent your computer. Number 8. Use vibration cancelling rings and mounts inside the computer. If your quiet computer fan comes with vibration cancelling rings or mounts, use them. The same goes for installing the power supplies and hard drive. If your computer casing does not come with these types of rubber washers, you can make some yourselves with some rubber sheet or even from an old mouse pad. You can also buy some cheap rubber rings and washers online. Number 9. Underlock your computer speed to reduce noise and heat. If you know how to underlock your PC, it will have a considerably longer hardware lifespan, reduce heat generation and hence dissipation, decrease electrical power consumption, increase stability, and reduce noise from mechanical cooling parts. If you don't require the extra speed your computer has in its arsenal, why not lower it down a few notches? I'll have a link in the description below for an in-depth instruction on how to underlock your PC. There are a couple of things you should know when underlocking your computer. It will reduce the overall performance of your computer and it also voids the system warranty on most computers depending on the manufacturer. So be mindful. So there you have it. This is our top 9 picks to make your PC quieter. If you follow most of these steps, your computer should be much quieter and should also consume less electricity and generate less heat. Please let us know in the comments section below if you have any additional tips we might have missed. And also let us know if you found any of these tips helpful to make your computer quieter. Thank you very much for watching and like I said before, consider subscribing to our channel if you like this type of content. And also don't forget to visit our website at soundproofguide.com. Thank you.